Father Michael, welcome in Bergamo. Grazie. 25 years in Italy, 20 years in Bergamo. Well, uh, what are in your idea the most important milestone of your history in Italy? And the second question is, when do you decide that Bergamo will be the door for the Italian market? Without question, the most important date in our development in, uh, in Italy was the decision to choose Bergamo as the first base. Bergamo was the gateway for us to Milan. As you remember, 25 years ago, nobody thought to fly to Bergamo. Now it's the fastest growing airport in Italy. It's the number three airport in Italy. This year will carry, I think, about 13 million passengers to and from Bergamo. So the partnership with Bergamo is, is the bedrock on which our success in Italy uh, has grown over the last 25 years. And we're very excited today. We're opening two new maintenance facilities here at the airport. Uh, we're celebrating 10 new routes in the summer of 2023 here. Uh, so we we'll bring many more visitors to Bergamo, to Milan and to Italy in 2023. Well, that the, this is the side that we see about your investment. Let's talk about what we don't see. You said that you are the side to invest here also in technology, also in maintenance. Some figures about your investment in terms of job, in terms of how you can compare this maintenance base with the rest of, main, the, rest of the maintenance base in Europe. It's a good point you make, Emilio. We have a lot of what we would call hidden investments here. So we have today we open our fourth and fifth maintenance uh, hangars here at the airport. We have a very large training center where we train many thousands of pilots and cam crew. We have simulators, classrooms, um, and we already uh, employ, we, we base 24 aircraft here at the, air, at the airport. That's an investment of $2.5 billion by Ryanair here in Bergamo. And it's a sign of the very close partnership we have with Bergamo that as Bergamo grows, Ryanair grows. And we look forward to Bergamo, the very exciting expansion plans here for the terminal building for the airport. And as, as soon as you build it, we'll fill it. Well, now, some. Uh, do you remember the first time that you arrived in Bergamo? Yes. You remember Mr. Stesta? <laughs> what was your impression when you arrived here with a uh, sporting team? Uh, uh, sh uh, t-shirt uh, and Mr. Testa give you the t-shirt of Atalanta. Do mm. you remember that moment? We do. Not? Yeah, no, we do. I mean, it was very important for us. We were a very small Irish airline. We were trying to, I mean, we only flew between Ireland and the UK. Bergamo was one of the very first European destinations that we flew to. Today, we fly to over uh, 2,000, we fly over 2,000 routes. Bergamo was the first route outside of Ireland and the UK that Ryanair uh, launched. It was a very small airport, very small passenger numbers, uh, but it was clear uh, that there was a huge appetite here in Milan and also all over Europe to come visit Milan using Bergamo. Well, now let's talk about the Italian market. Uh, what is your idea? What is your opinion? How much is important to the Italian market in your global business? The Italian market is probably the one or two, probably the UK is the most important market for us, but Italy is a very close number two. This year, uh, last year we carried 50 million passengers in Italy. This year we expect to grow that by more than 10, 11%, about 56 million passengers. A lot of that growth will be here in Bergamo. So Italy is a very important market for us. And in the last two or three years, as Alitalia has reduced its fleet and uh, uh, cut the size of its business, it's very important that we and our partner airports in Italy, that we keep growing. So we've been buying new aircraft from Boeing, placing those aircraft at our Italian bases, the biggest of which is Bergamo. And we've been rewarded together, both of us, with huge growth because people want to fly, Post-COVID, everybody was locked up for two years. We see huge demand this year. When people want to go back to Italy, want to go back to the beaches of the lakes of Italy, bring their families. And I think we hopefully will see two or three years of very strong growth here in Italy. Yes, I agree. I saw the figure in the last day. The traffic is going very, very well. The last question. Uh, what do you see in the future of Ryanair? Uh, what do you see in the future of Michael? Well, uh, Emilio, if I could see the future, I would have stopped about 25 oh, yeah. years. If we, if, if we could see the future, we don't want to go there. No. I think we'll keep working. We have a very good team in Ryanair. We'll keep working closely with good partners, uh, such as we have with you, Giacomo, and the team here in, uh, in Bergamo. Uh, we're very excited about the expansion plans here uh, at Bergamo Airport. 
you're going to expand the terminal, we're going to add more aircraft, create more jobs for really well-paid jobs for people, for pilots, for cabin crew, for engineers, and let's together grow successfully and make Bergamo not the number three airport in Italy, but the number two airport in Italy. And then hopefully in time, after you and I have long retired, the number one airport in Italy. In your future? Yeah, in my future, I will finish up in a home for the bewildered, uh, mumbling and dribbling after a lifetime ill-served in the airline industry. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. Grazie mille. Grazie.